I feel like home is somewhere where you feel comfortable, safe, okay to be vulnerable. And I kind of surround myself with my best friends, my closest people. 2023 was a really tough year. Natalie, my roommate, um, in January got diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. Her biological family support is non-existent in her life, so she didn't really have anyone. And I love her so much and I was just like in shock and I didn't want to leave her side. Like there was nowhere else I would have rather been. She was transferred to Northside Hospital in Sandy Springs and we stayed there for 26 nights in a row. Didn't even have time to like go home and pack a bag or do anything like that. She just immediately had to start chemo. Um, and in May, she got a bone marrow transplant, which required her to have a full-time caregiver. I was the only person that could do that. So I didn't work for since January all the way up until August. She needed daily rides for six to eight hours a day, all of May, June, and July. So. I provided those, I took her to appointments, sat there, waited with her. And then finally in August, she went into remission. So I went back to work and things were kind of peaceful. It was looking up that she was gonna beat this. And then um, the day after Thanksgiving, she got her 180 day bone marrow biopsy from the transplant and her cancer had come back. And she again had to stay there. Um, but at that point, I couldn't afford to not work anymore. I had accumulated a lot of debt from the year. You know, I couldn't be there. Getting this help with rent would help me, for one, with the debt that I accumulated this year, being her caregiver. And for two, it would just help me spend more time with her. You know, maybe work a little less just so I could be there for her for more of her appointments, for any of her surgeries or biopsies. It's really hard knowing that she has to go through that now without me being there to like hold her hand through them. Those were some of the hardest things I've had to see someone I love go through. Um, so it's, it, it's not great knowing that she's by herself now. And it would kind of give that security that we would have a home to go to when this is over for her or, if she got out of the hospital, like our apartment would still be there. 